It was every morning. I think that's the worst I've ever felt in our marriage. I was failing miserably. But on the outside, I was winning. to dinner and I sat down with Cherie and it was one of the most bizarre emotions I ever had when I had a, a realization that I wasn't with the person I was supposed to be with. I went in the bathroom at the Palm and I broke down in tears and it's like I knew that was the woman I was supposed to be with. We did not have an affair we did not have an while affair. he was married. Nope, Let's be clear about that. I said, hey, Jada, what's up? It's Will. She said, hey, how you doing? I said, good. I said, are you seeing anybody? Oh, my God. And she said, uh, no. I said, cool, you're seeing me now. And my dumb and ass was said, like, oh. OK. <laughs> she got on a plane, came back to LA, and never, never left. Never spent one night in her farm in Baltimore. No. Never spent one never night in the house she bought. That's actually kind of sad. But yeah. I always know how much you wanted to have that kind of life. Yeah. First trimester was yeah. oh, it was horrible. horrible. And I was so upset that I had to have a wedding. Yeah. I was so pissed. We, we, I went crying down the freaking aisle. I'll get it. Oh, oh, she'll be all right. Don't worry. <laughs> I've never met anybody like you, and I knew if I wasn't with you, I'd be searching in vain for the rest of my life. I love you to death. You have found something with this red table in this space that I tried my damnedest to build for you. When I see you on this red table, it is the joy that I have always hoped you would have. Thank you. The space where you get to fully and honestly and thoroughly be you and to get all of the love and the praise that you deserve.